the Yiga Clan's retreat. Let's start with the Yiga Clan one. Defeat every Blight Ganon. Successfully use a Shikarun counter. This is the one that unlocks Suga? Sweet. This looks like an easy one, too. After a counterattack by the Hyrulean army and those who had traveled from beyond time, the seer turned on the Yiga clan and sacrificed its members as offerings in order to enhance Calamity Ganon's power even further. Betrayed by the seer and with the Yiga clan on the brink of annihilation, Master Koga and Blade Master Suga narrowly escaped death. So Koga lived. The two fled, with the seer's pursuers close behind. Among them were those aberrant forms that also tormented the champions. What conclusion awaits their life-or-death battle to retreat? Calamity Ganon music. That's right, I forgot he's like Zant. I've considered streaming this story mode from the first game. Oh, wait a minute though, you're Thunder, so that's not going to affect you much. At least I'll get those guys. How's the volume compared to voice uh, on you guys' end? For me, it sounds really loud, so I just want to make sure. Out of the game, I can hear just fine. Good. Making sure I didn't turn the volume up when I was playing on my own time the other day getting that challenge done I was able to get that really annoying one out of the way okay I saw some large enemies back here I was making sure it wasn't the blights Okay, I keep forgetting about that bar. I gotta keep my eyes on that.
Oh, what? Alright, I guess I should probably take care of these moblins. Can't let any blade masters flee. Okay, so that's the challenge. I should probably kill every big enemy I see then so that they don't get caught in a big battle that gets them killed. Um, that's not too bad. That's actually not difficult at all. As long as I keep my eye on them and... They seem to be keeping close to me, so... That's not bad at all. Ah, that's as far as I can turn. Malice Moblin has appeared. I wonder if uh, Tears of the Kingdom is going to have these different variations of enemies. That'd be kind of neat. Malice enemies and elemental enemies. Stay behind them. Hold off. Suga, take care of Master Koga. If I fail this, I can come back and do it as Mifa. Since you can change your character if you've beaten it. Uh, and I could use her to heal everybody. Mifa's going to be really good for these kind of missions. get some rupees I spent a bunch of rupees last night powering up my characters some getting their weapons up to speed wait what oh shit <laughs> I keep doing that <laughs> I like playing as Koga, but it's easy for me to forget his, uh, his gimmick. <laughs> the hollows have appeared. Yeah. 
Oh. The fake champion. Wait, I failed it. Oh, one got away. Okay, that's fine. I'll just come back to it as Mifa. That's okay. I, I can just heal everybody as Mifa when I do this again. As long as I beat the main objective, I can just come back in as a different character. I'll try and get what I can done. You were supposed to run around and go fight the hollows behind the gate. Ah. Uh, So it's to feed all the hollows, not keep the dudes from fleeing. The team doesn't tell you that you're supposed to do. But it's the only difficult part about it. Well, that's good at least. It's not that. It's not too too bad. What the fuck is this? Sheikah slate is now usable. Oh. Oh, I'm going backwards. Some means of fast travel would have been a nice addition to this. Like Hyrule Warriors later got the uh, first Hyrule Warriors. I guess I don't really have to worry about these guys too much anymore, so I'm gonna just go ahead and ignore that moblin. Okay, for a second there, I thought these Lizalfos were T posing. Too late on that one. Wasn't too late on that though. I uh, some of the upgrades I got on my Koga when I was doing my uh, weapon upgrades yesterday. I got um, flurry rush window increase and flurry rush damage increase, and they're like pretty substantial. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> But I saw how fast I tore through his uh, wheel there with that flurry rush. Oh, that is so good. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm supposed to get a counter on one of them with a Sheikah Slate. Given me any chances to counter on with a slate. There's three other blights you can do it with. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this one might not have many opportunities. Should get rune against the blight counter. So I just have to do it once, too. It's not like I have to do it for all of them either. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, I had my chance there. Not too late, though. Ah, nah, I missed it. No, oh, doesn't drop anything. Okay. Probably shouldn't worry too much about capturing bases. Unless the bases make the blights appear. Oh, that's a bomb. Ah, can't do it though if I'm gliding all over, but I hate how tight the spaces are for fighting these guys. I keep bouncing off the walls and it makes it so I can't use my runes in time. That targeted position might be the mission objective, though. Like, the... maybe I should capture these bases first, just in case. Those two blights show up when you go to the mission objective. Okay. It's always hard to tell which one's the final objective. Like, the objective just keeps changing, so.
Well, you killed a random lion all now the mission's done. Like, that would kind of suck. Okay. Don't you mean a shinel? Look at this fucking edgelord. I got a good feeling about this one. Nice open area. This is probably the best one for me to do that counter on. Come on. Come on, I want you to do it. Too bad it's not Flurry Rush or Blight. do the thing not that thing it's probably best that I'm doing a separate from that hidden mission anyways with how uh, consuming this is come on they're more likely to do them at low health you're probably right Please don't kill him. Okay, half dead. Imagine being a champion and seeing a fat, clumsy ninja take out what killed you. Yeah, I would like to see Rivali's face. <laughs> that arrogant prick. If I weak attack him again, I'll kill him. I hate that attack. Guess this is a chance for me to lower his health some more. Whoa, whoa, blah, blah. Okay, uh... Time for you to die. Got you, fucker. business we call this a pro gamer move. So <laughs> Defeated every blight, successfully used well that's two of those out of the way. I'm just going to go right in and restart it. So, let me get this straight. So, I don't have to worry about the Blade Masters. That wasn't the mission. It's, I have to be... I have to fight the dudes on the other side of the gate. No.
You have to save the Blad Masters. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Oh, we're getting some Suga backstory. I think the main, most shocking thing here, though, is that Suka isn't black, but has a very clearly black voice. Master Koga. No matter what happens here, you must live on. He is, he's so fucking cool. I don't know who I like more, him or Astor. It really sucks that Astor isn't playable. It took four blights to kill this man. What a fucking legend. He is so fucking cool. It took four blights to take him down. <laughs> Absolute legend. So I'm guessing that cutscene plays out differently if I beat it uh, with the proper. Okay. Let's augment the cheese a little bit. And special attack charge rate per enemy KO. That sounds interesting. Let's throw that on as well. So I guess that means like my charge will ramp up the more kills I have. That sounds like really good, actually. Full apples. I think I remember having a way to buy magic, but I guess that's full. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to start this up. Eh, I'm going to play it safe. After a counterattack by the Hyrulean army and those who had traveled from beyond time, the seer turned on the Yiga clan and sacrificed its members. It's Robbie intro. In order to enhance calamity, Ganon. Per is a per is old friend. He was the uh, 
In Breath of the Wild, he's the old guy with the goggles that does, like, the little rock star pose. Yeah! That dude. This is him before the Great Calamity. Yeah. He's a very minor character. <laughs> Look at how tiny Mifa is compared to Suga. Mifa could probably get this done faster, too. She's a lot more quick with her attacks. Suga, uh, not Suga, Koga. Koga's a lot of fun, but he's also kind of slow. Alright, gather around, everyone. Look at that, everyone's at full health now. Except Suga. He's just destined to die, I guess. <laughs> Got an image of the banana hamster image when he said that. I laughed because Suga probably unironically carries banana. Oh yeah, of course. Suga's muscles deflect Mifa's magic. <laughs> that makes sense. Look at how fast my special's charging. As soon as the hollows spawn in, you have to turn around and go back to the locked gate. Otherwise, the Blade Masters will die very quickly. Okay. Yeah, maybe if it's just me being a support main, but I think Mifa might have the best special in the game. It does just as much attack as everybody else, but it just has that really good utility on it. Oh yeah, Suga's like my kind of character. I like that kind of shit. Yeah, he's super cool. Very, very interesting villain. My friends are running ahead on me. You guys are gonna get yourselves killed one of these days. Look at that, wiped out all the enemies and healed everybody all in one fell swoop. That is so good. This blade monster is over here taking a beating though. I'm gonna give him a help. Full health. Boblin destroyed. That is... Oh, I can't get over how good that is. I don't play Mifa enough, too. I, I just... The swimming in the air thing's a little weird for me, I guess. 
At least in the first Tire Warriors, it kind of made sense that Rudo could do it because she's the Sage of Water. Like she doesn't really have to follow logic because she's like a and like a otherworldly entity at that point. But Mifa doing it just kind of seems weird to me. Okay, so this gate over here on the right, is that what I want to run back towards? Oh, wait a minute. These guys are back here fighting something right now. Okay, so there's a number of things I wasn't paying attention to last time. And I, I, I let these guys get... Lord Suga. It's the gate you want to backtrack towards. There's no indication the gate will open back up if you approach it, but it does. Okay. Yeah, that's what threw me off last time. I thought, okay, I got past that part. Those guys are behind the gate now, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. That was my mindset last time, and I just kept going. <laughs> I thought mission success, and I kept going without looking. Wow, that's really, like, cheesy of them. That's uh, kind of sneaky. They should be popping up any second now. I think it's after these ice mob ones, ain't it? Gonna be right about here. You want a piece? Uh, I might have fucked up by going south too soon. Hopefully, those guys can manage long enough. Open the gate. Master Koga. Yeah, 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 they're holding well enough. I cannot it is done. They go down quick at least. 
These guys behind the gate are the ones that die quickly if not protected. Okay. I think they should be good against these little grunts. Yeah, these guys are holding their own just fine. Let's wipe these guys out real quick, though. One quick swoop. I cannot fail. It is done. Um, Link and Suga have a fight in the main game. And uh, Suga says a line about the future being fickle or something like that. Silver Moblins. Let's not let these big guys linger. I don't want to have to do this mission a third time. Good chance to build up my special, too. This game's underrated. It's a pity a lot of people hate on it. I feel like it could have gotten more DLC. People bitchy because they did something different with it they weren't expecting. I think the main game story gave us enough that we were able to piece together what happened in the dark timeline. So it was nice to have a chance to see a different timeline play out. It was a nice little surprise. And it gave us a good chance to play as the new champions. The successors. I do like Riju and Sidon. I like how Sidon plays in this too, dual wielding the tridents. That's fucking cool. Just a cool character. This game in general just has a lot of cool characters. That's got me so excited for Tears of the Kingdom because it looks like there's going to be a lot more emphasis on side characters and just having them follow you around. We're finally getting followers in a Zelda game. I'm so excited for that. I thought we were going to get that in Breath of the Wild. When I saw the trailers and you're seeing, like, Daruk, like, they had, like, the artwork revealed of, like, the champions, and you see, like, they were calling them the champions, and you see, like, Daruk and the others wearing, like, the, ma uh, the blue stuff that matched your tunic, the champion tunic. I thought, oh, hey, these guys are probably, like, a band of champions you can, like, enlist to follow you. And I was, like, I was, like, envisioning, like, gameplay of, like, Link going around with, like, Daruk following not far behind. That would have been so cool. I'm so glad that we're actually getting that in this next game. That's probably like the most exciting thing for me. Because that's like realizing something that I've wanted since Twilight Princess. When they had like the band of heroes. That uh, like hung out at Telma's bar. Like I feel like they were underutilized in that. And I always wanted to see like a game where Link had friends working with him. kind of uh, brings me back to like Lord of the Rings and you have like the Fellowship of the Ring like this tra this like band of heroes traveling together. I always like that kind of shit.
Oh yeah, we're and we're gonna be getting plenty of that. It looks like this is gonna be very story heavy. Yeah, I think Tears of the Kingdom might actually top Breath of the Wild. When I first played Breath of the Wild, I wondered, like, how are they going to top this? Gives you generic Link Amiibo rewards. Wolf Link is not coming back in Tears of the Kingdom. That's a pity. It would be a perfect game to bring him back in if we're doing a game with companions. Are they at least bringing back the outfits? Like the different Link uh, armors? I thought those were really cool. I liked the uh, classic Link outfit. And then the Fierce Deity outfit. There's a couple new ones you saw. Nice. Alright, I don't really have to deal with all the blights again, so... Whoops, wrong one. Oh, Moon Tears would be cool to see. That could be a good material item. I hope they, um, they almost did this in Breath of the Wild, apparently. Like, they teased this, that, um, early in development for Breath of the Wild, they almost, uh, brought back the aliens from Majora's Mask. And I guess they were potentially gonna play a major part in the story. I hope they get some sort of appearance. Did I get the ability to play this? Oh, I did! Holy shit! I'm Suga! Okay. Time to beat this as a badass. Fuck you. Time to die. Counters get consecutively stronger. So he has different, like, arts that he switches between? Dual wielding too. Oh, I love dual wielding. Yeah, this is my kind of shit right here. Ready? Explode. So wait, does this mean... No, I guess it didn't count yet. Ah, shit. I thought to do that too late.
Did it count? Wait. How come the thing didn't pop up? Okay, don't let any ally flee. Good. I did get it. I didn't see the thing pop up and it had me worried. Oh, holy shit. Uh, I guess we'll check the cutscene and see what happens. If it seems to be the same video, then... No cutscene this time. It didn't do anything at all. So we didn't get a Suga death cutscene. It just doesn't do it. Wow, he even gets unique fucking unlock music. Like, even Koga didn't get that. <laughs> right hand of the inverted eye. The leading figure and devoted soldier of the Yeko clan. He tends to the pros uh, pressing organization duties of his clan in Master Koga's stead. He's so cool. A little too expensive to max him for right now, but I'll get him up to 80 for now. Oh. Extra hearts for Koga. Bonus combo. Here we go. This is the kind of stuff I want to unlock. Give him more abilities. With diligence comes power. It's such a cool voice too. <laughs> Super cool scores swordsmanship or unseen counter stance. You can activate unseen. Middle of the combo and then continue the combo. Huh. So it sounds like he kind of plays like the king. Bonus hearts, bonus combo. I still have much to learn. So the, both of those are hearts. Special attack gauge. Any more butterflies? Suga's training. Look at this unit. Oh, I'm so happy we got Koga finally. <laughs> No aster, but I'll take it. Really strange that they didn't add him because his move set's already there because he's up he's a character in the game. Kind of seems like he plays like uh, Ganondorf did in the first Hyrule Warriors game. Big, brutal attacks. Shit, I always do that too slow. They don't give me enough time. React. Be still.
<laughs> I just look at this and I picture like a like a Flintstone style like old cartoon running noise that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a time limit, so I should probably. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! I don't really see him doing that, though. Because there was either- there was only, like, two different scenarios. Either the Giga Clan eventually joins Link, or they serve Ganon to the end. It would be pretty damn cool, though, to see Suga challenge Ganon. I do agree, though. Yeah, there's the alternate route of instead of joining the heroes, they decide to go their own way and take Ganon on themselves. I could see that too. Like, that's another, like, alternate reality we could have seen. <laughs> Get out of there. Nice collisions here. Oh, he throws bombs. Be still. Ah, I always do that too late. Be prepared. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. I'm having too much fun with this character. <laughs> He's really good. <laughs> He's got some fucking style. Oh, I take back what I said about the DLC. The side missions where I'm having to collect seven boar asses. Kind of lame, but it's worth it if we get Suga. <laughs> and unlock the other side character. Yeah, I think I saw that, uh... They, they kind of spoiled it in the trailer, but it looks like Pura and Robbie are gonna be, like, a playable as a single character. Don't know how good they're gonna be, though. It looks like a bulky character. Like they're riding around on a big machine thing. Ooh, another combo. Any. Koga. He just wants Koga Senpai to notice. <laughs> I still have much to learn. 
Get all these abilities unlocked. Enhanced ability. Am I even allowed to be this strong? While the stress gauge is low, press X during a your attack to do a sliding belly slam. Oh, this is for Koga. Hmm. And the cool thing about Koga is it almost seems as loyal to Suga as Suga is to him. He obviously struggled heavily on leaving him behind. He's tempted to face certain... Yeah. Yeah, these two are besties. Not something you see often with villains. Villains are always the stereotypical selfish type, but these two are actually buds. I, and I dig that. <laughs> Refreshing. Something different with villains. With diligence comes power. Anything for Master Koga. What do we got here? Okay, more hearts. With diligence comes power. Is that attack gauge would be nice. Uh, I need 10 of the blue butterflies. I wonder if I can get some at a shop. I want to do that real quick before the next mission. That one's selling fish. That one has a butterfly, just not the one I need. I kind of wish there was just a single shop. Because it kind of makes it a little tedious having to look through all the different... Wait, wasn't there like a... Hang on. I remember there being like a thing. Where you could like scroll through... Shops by material or something. I don't remember how to do that, though. It's been so damn long since I played this game. Oh, I think it was this. Yeah. This is a quicker way to look through the shops. None of them seem to have what I need. That's annoying. Alright, uh, I think I'm ready for the next mission. I think I'm going to do this one next. Oh, more Suga training stuff. Hang on, before I do that, uh, I think I have some weapons for him now. I can make him a little stronger. Wait, that's not right. Fuse weapons is what I want. Oh, that's Suga. I meant, uh, Koga. Yeah, we got a few different weapons to work with now. Let's see what abilities we have here. Nothing really that special. <clears throat> Good enough for now. I'll get better weapons as I go. Okay, uh... You know, I could always play through the story again on my own time. 
and just have all the different characters unlocked. It, it is kind of a pity that there aren't more things to do with the characters once they're unlocked. Because this game doesn't have as many challenges as the first Hyrule Warriors had, but... I could always have them when I decide, whenever I decide to replay the story again. I did enjoy the story. Yeah. I just realized I never turned the difficulty back up after doing... Yeah, can I turn it up here? Okay, one more easy mission, I guess. I, I turned it to easy last night when I was doing that really annoying challenge. And I forgot to turn it back on uh, normal. I could probably turn up the difficulty a little bit, actually, because uh, I'm kind of overleveled. I can make it a challenge. Or do you think that's a bad idea with the challenges I have to do? Probably safer to just stick with normal. It'll be simple. Yeah. Alright. We'll do that. I'll turn the difficulty up some. Uh, I think... Isn't there like a new difficulty setting? Like apocalyptic or something like that? I don't think it was in the base game, was it? There's only three story missions left. Oh! Oh! Yeah, this is definitely going to be finished tonight. Cool. Right on time, too, because uh, Tears of the Kingdom is just days away. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? I'm looking at chat while just running aimlessly away from the objective. Oh, Koga got stuck on this one Bacoblin. That's what's going on. <laughs> he didn't go where he was supposed to. <laughs> he got hung up on a little shitty grunt. What are you doing, Koga? <laughs> that run animation is so good. Be prepared. If I must. The music fucking stops. <laughs> Koga is so powerful that he makes the music stop. This is over. What's the point in putting the sword in the sheath if you're just gonna take it out again with a slash? Ninjas are fucking weird. <laughs> Style. I'm just waiting for Koga and Suga to start doing JoJo poses. We've already got. Whenever Suga's running, he's, like, trying to do, like, the Polnara stand pose. <laughs> Hang on. I need to do this. Oh, you know what, though? I don't think the stream would pick it up, because that... I don't think this, uh... I don't think this preset captures desktop audio. Shit. I was gonna, I was gonna load up some fucking classic cartoon running noises and just have Koga running and Suga running in circles. Suga is Koga's stand. <laughs> Lightning. Lightning. 
Oh, you know what? What am I doing? Inferno. We're in grass. Look at that son of a bitch. Big lad. No, no not the bees. Inferno. Oh, wait a minute, though. That one's not going to work. Freeze. I hit. Getting a law on fire. So we gotta use different elements. Oh, I guess this is the moment when we join them. Oh, but this isn't a story mission.
Master Kuga's impeccable sight to thank for your rescue, Impa. <laughs> oh, me? I mean, yes. Whatever he said. <laughs> Ooh, a better... This one's better... Uh, damage, like, starting. So it starts at 54, unleveled. Combo and hearts. <clears throat> Anything for Master Koga. I still have much to learn. Okay. Defeat 500 or more enemies. Keep the health of the Rito captain protecting the Rito child above 50%. Mystery. As war raged across all of Hyrule following the Calamity's revival, Ravali spotted a young Rito who had wandered onto the battlefield. But he lost sight of the child amidst the chaos. Saving a radio captain in the middle of the map is the third challenge. Okay. Hearing this from Ravali, Taba's heart filled with dread. He insisted that they rush off in search of the child. Though dubious of Taba's agitated state, Ravali nonetheless consented. I forgot to change the difficulty the again. <laughs> the child was last seen. <clears throat> Master Ravali. You're finished. Spot him somewhere nearby. Where'd he get off to? Hopefully my weapons on these guys aren't too overpowered uh underpowered. I guess it wouldn't really matter though because I got it set to easy by mistake. <clears throat> Whoa. That's a headpiece. Or it's probably his plumes. Looks silly, whatever the case. I wasn't too big on Rivali and Teba's gameplay in this. They weren't my favorites. I feel like the arrows aren't always the best at hitting the... The Rito Captain is in that sealed off area. Okay. Get 
I probably could. Uh, this, and then... Why can't I? Oh, because the gate. Holy shit. I'm going to send him down to here now. So he is. I gotta get better at uh, giving orders out whenever I switch characters to make sure the character I was previously playing as doesn't go off on some completely random adventure. Okay, so how do I get in here? Do I just have to clear out the things? We have the Rivali get the one up there, and then Senteba to get the other one. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, wrong one again. That was effective. Hmm. Yeah, isn't this, uh... Isn't this this guy's son? Or daughter? Ava. Wait a minute, what are they doing in this timeline? Okay. It's making me wonder how many others have been displaced from their time. Okay, I can finally fight that guy. I'm gonna send Taba for that. While I escort these guys with Ravali. Thank <laughs> you. 
This one's not too bad too, cause it kind of uh, it kind of takes care of itself with. Oh, good! I don't have to worry about this guy anymore. And that was challenge number three. Okay, and this guy's health is still really good, too. So, I think this one's going to be a good clear. Sweep. Yeah. Yeah, this one's not bad at all. Very tolerable. It helps that I keep forgetting to change the difficulty back up. <laughs> And that's how I'm getting pretty close to. I was I was getting ready to say, um, the KOs one kind of takes care of itself too because there's so many enemies along the path. Oh, hey, Blood Angel. <laughs> this guy's health went down quick. Yeah, it's just a few days away. Uh, I hope I didn't screw that up. His health is get. Wait a minute, that's not accurate. Oh, that's not the one protecting the... I don't have to worry about that one. Okay, I didn't realize there was more than one captain here. I thought it was just this one protecting the... Watch and learn. Hoping to stream Tears of the Kingdom Day 1. Really excited for that. Starting to make a better schedule for myself. I, I want to start streaming more regularly. I'm hoping to do every Sunday. Sundays at 7. Chaos, we at? Oh, oh. 441. Okay. Uh, intro. I already do have a YouTube where I put the VODs. Um, I'm not really trying to, though. I, I kind of just been doing this casually. I'm not really trying to make a big thing of it. I kind of like it for how small it is because it's just a small group of people that I know and I'm able to like have you know nice chats and all that I don't you know you don't really get that on vine sauce you know like when Vinny streams there's like a million people just flooding the chat and you don't know who any of these fucking people are and they're just spamming emojis I don't want that I like how chill this is Sitting back and having a chat with some friends while I'm playing a video game. Take this. I kind of hope it never gets that big. The money would be nice, but I'd be losing something. What is going on back here? Okay. You guys just get to keep moving forward. You can't keep stopping to fight every single monster. Burn, 
out of fire. Ah, keep doing that. Okay, now I use this one. <laughs> Come on, don't get fallen behind and then stuck fighting monsters again on me. Let's get this mission done. Teba. Yes, champion. Oh. Got it, <laughs> don't know the way without the Koroks. Yeah. Oh, I know that. The tiny creatures told me earlier that we can get through here. I thought the last enemy was a Lionel. 454. Uh, I, I can run off to the... Oh, shit. Oh, that's a problem. I didn't think I was going to get locked out like that, too. I thought, okay, as long as I don't kill a Lionel, I'll be good. I didn't think I was going to get locked behind a gate like this. I didn't even think of that. Shit. Oh, I don't want to have to do this again. Just to get a bunch of kills. I don't think I'm going to get it. This is probably where I'm going to fight the Lionel. Because the next one's going to lead to the main map again. I hope I get pulled into the main area again. No, this is going to be where I escape. It's heading down this way. Fuck. Oh, hopefully a bunch of enemies spawn around the Lionel. I just need 40. Oh, thank God. Okay, hopefully this is enough enemies. It should be. Looks like quite a few. Okay, give me a chance to get up. I just need ten. Here we go. There we go. Whew. They don't give you enough time to react. Like, they don't let me, like, think about the position of my... Yeah, no kidding, right? That was, like, exactly what I needed. Whew. Oh, and look at that, it gave me more. 
<laughs> just uh, for good measure. Okay, the fire lionel didn't seem to drop any fire. That sucks. Is collected. <laughs> now, oh, now go and say thank you. Master Ravali saved your life after all. Okay, Master Ravali, thank you so much for saving me. You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. You... you mean it? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank oh. you! I'm doing all kinds of training so that I can be just like you! Someday, I'll even master the great eagle bow! Sounds like young Deku. You were nearly killed by those monsters, you know. Yet you're so happy. Maybe it won't be long until you're master of the wind, just like me. You never know, eh? <laughs> that is true. But before that, he must surpass his old man. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> <clears throat> Was that meant to sound like me? Um. Oh, no. Uh. You've got a ways to go, kid. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, uh... That Rito, the little Rito, was actually among the, uh... The traveling companions in the trailer. I saw that. He was standing among the different... Like, the little posse Link had built up. Princess and the King. Hey, a Link, Zelda, and King mission. Limited character selections. I'm going to stick with what it wants me to use. You know what? I'm going to go with the classic. Do only captains flee? Defeat the strong wizrobes? Question mark. <clears throat> Z 
Zelda, having escaped Hyrule Castle with the help of her father as it fell into Calamity Ganon's hands, rose with Link to rescue the champions, still imprisoned in their divine beasts across Hyrule. Capture an outpost behind a waterfall for the third challenge. Okay, noted. Their first step was to attempt to rendezvous with the Hylian soldiers, who had been stationed in advance at Laneru Road to protect Zelda during her training. Meanwhile, King Rome, having narrowly escaped death and now accompanied by his surviving soldiers, planned an escape in order to rebuild his army. I love this link tunic. The brown and green looks good together. How did that not hit? Double check some things here. Don't let any captains flee. Okay. It's not keep above half health. I just wanted to make sure. You know what? Right before that cutscene happened with the Rivali and Teba, I was gonna say, now, before I forget, I'm gonna quickly turn up the difficulty. I forgot during the cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, looks like a case of... Oh, right, yeah, one of the captains is here. Looks like he's still in good health, at least. I didn't faff around too much.
One cannot help but smile. It's probably the coolest Zelda King design. Breath of the Wild brought in a lot of favorites for me. Seems to be. No. I don't think I can do it yet. I gotta do stuff here with the king. I think not. Right before I switched. That it did. Monsters are gone. Now's our chance. Let's block the way. Block the monster's path. Cool. Double checking everything again because I'm a paranoid person like that. Okay, I have three more whiz robes to take on and don't let any captains flee. Time for the king to do his thing. One cannot help but smile. Badass warrior king. Yeah, I should probably do that before capturing any outposts. Make sure I get everything. I don't want any situation of like, the forces have fled with your base capture. And then like the wizard robes disappear or some bullshit. Just to speed things up, let's get Link going over there now while I fight this one. And then while I'm fighting that one as Link, I'll order the king to head over the objective. Until I capture the pow post. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing this while Link is over there. Whoops. I am ready. The 
shall not stand. Be gone! One cannot help but smile. One cannot help but smile. <gasps> Link. Link, you didn't follow my orders. I told you to go over to the... Oh, right, I couldn't because of the... Are the gates going to open? I guess I have to beat the Moblins first. What am I doing? There we go. Now it's open. This should be the last wizard robe, and I'll have completed everything. Oh, that's still closed. Probably have to take out that outpost as Rome first. The other one. Or that. Wrong element fires when I want. And done. Now I just gotta not let any captains die.
What's going on? I hope this didn't like bug or something. But needs to be there too. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Just kind of standing there twiddling her thumbs. Fucking weeb. <laughs> We should be safe, princess. Please, take a moment to rest. I'm afraid time is scarce. Scarce. Uh, after a quick rest, we must head for the Divine Beast at once. Let's move forward, hmm? Hold something. Hold, something is off. A Malice Guardian has appeared. What? Easy. Just to see influence of the Calamity. We must stop them to advance. Oh. King versus Guardian. Aced it. We shall hurry to rendezvous with them. Everyone, head to the Great Plateau. Now to say that I'm going to remember to change the difficulty, but then forget during this cutscene. <laughs> I think I'm going to remember it this time. I think I've fucked up enough times. I have such terrible memory. Oh shit! Oh, that was cool. I am sorry to have caused trouble for you, Urbosa. The real trouble would have been losing you. Our little bird, she's on her way here. 
She's been searching for you. <gasps> Our Zelda's wings have gotten so strong. She's perhaps even stronger than her mother. You see, your efforts have not been in vain, my little boy. I like that the Gerudo no longer serve Ganon in this timeline. And in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Gerudo's got some, they got some noses. In Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf looked like a fucking hummingbird. <laughs> okay, uh... This time I'm finally gonna remember to do this. Uh... If I can... Find where... Here we go. Uh... Options. Let's crank that up. Keep forgetting to do that. Also, just to be on the safe side. I'd set it on easy for a challenge the other night that was, like, really frustrating and not really all that fun. And then I forgot to set it back up. Mm. Well, holding X to power up a strong attack, move around to perform a power slash. Press X to temporarily allow extra attacks while repeatedly changing forms. Excavating Hyrule. Looks like we got a Guardian of Remembrance. Maybe I should, um, you know what? Just because we don't want to keep redoing missions for the stream, let's set it to normal again. Like, like, like we originally had it on. I think that's a better idea. And I think I'm just going to focus on, uh, the story missions from here. And do the side stuff on my own time. Like, this stuff's neat and all. But, uh, I have been streaming for a couple hours now. So let's get the story done, because that was my main goal. This is the last one. Wait, now you're making me not want to rush it. <laughs> okay, let's do the side mission first. <laughs> no, no, you know what? No, wait, let's do this. Let's do this. I have been streaming for a couple hours. Let's get this done. Keep the health of Pura above 50%. Defeat Aster with Zelda. Okay, so I gotta remember to use Zelda to defeat Aster. Uh, question mark. Okay, so don't let Pura's health get low. And then mystery. Okay. I am going to bring Mifa as a healer. I wish to keep everyone safe. No matter what, we will see this through. Protect Robbie from a malice Lionel. Okay, so protect Robbie, keep her above 50% and beat this as Zelda. Uh, okay, so I guess Sounding like monks from Age of Empires. 
We're getting a little Aster backstory. Such power. The promise of the calamity. <laughs> the Guardian housing Ganon's malice took a certain seer as its pawn in order to bring about the Calamity's revival, and through him joined forces with the Yiga clan, continuing to increase the scope of its power. With monsters at its command, it repeatedly attempted to delay the awakening of the swordsman who seals the darkness, and to destroy Zelda and the champions, ultimately hastening the revival of the Calamity. The Hyrulean army, with the help of those who had traveled from beyond time, hung on by a thread. As Link and his allies fought desperately, the time-traveling Guardian once again challenged its fated enemy, whose sights were set on Zelda. Kind of worried this is going to have Breath of the Wild spoilers, and Shade hasn't played Breath of the Wild yet. Probably shouldn't be watching this, I don't know. I guess you'll forget, though.
Terrico is gonna fucking die again. This is probably going to be where Pura and Robbie become playable. a way to help Terrico. Okay, so what were my objectives again? I just want to check over this because I have terrible memory too. Keep her above 50%. Defeat Aster as Zelda. Right. Pretty straightforward. And then, of course, the secret is helping Robbie when that comes up. Zelda sounds like she's enjoying those arrows a little too much. I forget where you're supposed to go to find the ancient furnace. Yeah, I guess I'm just kind of wandering in circles right now, ain't I? found it. Is that supposed to be uh, some sort of energy trace? Okay. Uh. Yeah. Should I sit that around? Let's gather them. Oh yeah, we're back to collecting boar asses. So Robbie's gonna start searching for these traces when he finds the fourth one and goes for the fifth. That'll be when the Malice Lionel shows up. Okay.
You know what? I should use Mifa for a bit. Get her special built up so that if I have to heal anybody, I can. Nice thing about this mission is because it's raining, my ice wand will be extra effective anywhere I am. My electric one, too. capture this base so that there's less enemies pouring out. It's quite the memory. Right. Burrow, we've prepared a simple ancient furnace. All right. Thanks. All we have to hurry and adjust the furnace. Get everyone over here. Okay, so I need to pay attention to when he finds the fifth. So this is one of five, I'm assuming, right here. Oh, uh, wrong. Cancel. Cancel. Oh, but the rain's gonna fuck with this. Just when he gets the one you're looking for, you got four out of five already. Oh, so, okay, that Lionel's gonna pop up real soon then. Okay, in that case, I'm going to send Mifa to protect Robbie. 
As soon as that pops up, I'll switch to her. I'm gonna take this guy out now and then I'll switch to Mifa and that okay where'd Robbie go did she she didn't do what I told her to do I told her to follow Robbie oh, I hate when the AI does that Yeah, I know. I killed most of the shit over there. More spawns. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just getting Pura on track here. Okay, so Robbie's right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Zelda. Mifa, I said follow Robbie. I'm on my way. I will fight for Mouse line will already spawn and she's waiting there to deal with it. Yeah, I should probably do that now. She took care of that. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? after killing it and it'll be fine. Yep.
the furnace for this energy as well. Always better to have an abundance than shortage. Collect Terrico's hidden trace. Nice, got it. Now I just gotta keep her above half health and defeat Aster as Zelda. Secret ending unlocked. I like this game for the plot. <laughs> Capture those outposts and stop more enemies from spawning. Not a bad idea. Uh, I think we're almost done, though. Might as well do this one. Especially since I'm probably going to have to go this way anyways. Those monsters couldn't finish you? Useless. I will send you to oblivion by my own hand. Uh, I'll take over link. Oh. I will fight for high rule. Timing in the music. Get I always hit it too late. Never fails. That time I got it. 
Seems like I can break the arms. That's interesting. You can actually target the individual parts, I see. Oh, it's only temporary? I can still do it anyways. how to do it. It looks like some of the Jaeger clan are still being turd blossoms. You're all right. Thank goodness. Oh, so I unlocked them now that the game is beat, which means I'm not really going to have anything to do with them. <laughs> Quest completed.
Pura and Ravi. Eccentrically genius researchers. Operating out of the Royal Ancient Lab, they have joined the fray to help put an end to the calamity. They work together and fight together, but they still seem to bicker from time to time. This would have been a lot more exciting if the fucking trailers didn't spoil it. <laughs> we'll do at least one mission to check them out. See if I can unlock some abilities with them first. Gather memory fragments. Fragments. Oh. That's all the useful information we were able to extract. All that remains is some scattered memories. Since the new champions end up having to go back to their dark timeline. I imagine, like, the game's still going to be in the dark timeline in Tears of the Kingdom. But I wonder if they're going to mention their adventures here at all. Or if it's just going to be, like, a thing that gets ignored. <laughs> I'd like to think that their time with the, uh, champions is going to be what makes them, like, braver. And more ready to fight alongside Link. Look at this fucking squad. Princess, must you go through with this? I said I would, and so I shall. <laughs> Are you coming along too? fighting so hard to protect this land of ours. And of course, that would include you as well. You know it'd be awesome? What if one of the I might be getting my hopes too high because Zelda's never done this before with the series. But I would like to see post-game. I want to be able to save after beating Ganon and have Zelda as a traveling companion. While just exploring and just, you know, just fighting random Bacoblin camps and shit. Have Zelda as part of the party. I'd like that a lot. Check which side missions are available from the ones you unlock. Yeah, uh, first I'm going to do some unlocks for these guys. Bonus combo. 
get some abilities unlocked for them. Ganon becomes a companion. That wouldn't make much sense, but I wouldn't be complaining. Oh, his design in Tears of the Kingdom looks so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy that Matt Mercer's voicing him, too. That, that, that couldn't ask for better than that. I, I As someone who enjoyed There Will Be Brawl, which, you know, he voiced Ganondorf. I mean, he played Ganondorf in that. It was a live-action series. I just think that's fucking perfect. Oh, light that can stability. It seems I've grown stronger. While luminescent, unleash a powerful attack when you dash with B. Ooh. That gives Suga more special attack gauge. Anything for Master Kogan. Enhanced ability for Suga. I still have much to learn. When the unseen gauge is full, regular attacks are powered up. Hmm. We get something for Hestu over here. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. A lot of this stuff I'm going to do off stream, just on my own time. This is the final Age of Calamity stream. Unless they pull out some random DLC out of their hat, which I highly doubt, considering how long it's been since this dropped. Uh, this is going to be the last stream. Okay, anyways. So, unlocked missions. You'll want to do if it's unlocked. Yeah, how do I... Oh, okay, there's three missions down here. Uh, excavate... Excavating I rule. Uh, utmost strength. And Coliseum Master. Uh, I keep seeing the pictures and thinking, oh shit, I can play as a Hinox! But that's main enemies. Uh, Purry and Robbie's, tra Robbie's training. A Moblin Feast. Is it the Ma'a, uh, Puri, and Robbie training? You know what? Let's get the, uh... Challenges. There's nothing for, like, DLC battles. You should be able to check. Hmm. I might have to do... The Purr and Robbie training missions, because training missions often unlock stuff. So, how about I just do that real quick? I'm gonna go ahead and level them up some first, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go to 80. That's been too much. It's in the chapter sub menu. Oh, oh yep, the X. Doesn't look like it's there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the training mission first then. And see if that unlocks it. I mean, I could just do all these side missions if that's what you guys really want to see. If there's like one that's like particularly good that you want me to do. We'll try to see if we can unlock it. Yeah, it's just story. Let's let's see what pops up from this. Good chance to check them out. Press CR. Per and Robert will deploy an invention. The invention will assume a shape based on one of the four divine beasts and then attack. Oh, that's cool.
This looks silly. <laughs> An invention transform, excuse me, a power. Okay. <laughs> Building a century. Can't get caught up in them. <laughs> this is just silly. Good quick attacks. Not bad at all. Fucking voice. Plenty to work with over here. They're pretty good. There's a mission included with the first DLC. You think you did all those already? Yeah. Alright. I'm really liking this moveset. Very fast attacks with a lot of wide range. Really good for clearing out a lot of enemies.
Dream where you get to play as Ganon and kill the heroes. Yeah, we did that on stream, actually, I believe. Too bad the Blights weren't playable. At least we got Ganon. Pretty damn cool design for him, too. Oh, di oh, that's cool. The friggin' chainsaws. Well, quite a few challenges for me to do on my own time. Chance to play with some of these new characters. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of Suga. Uh, I guess this is it for Age of Calamity streams, though. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hold off on... Oh, I guess the game's going to be out before next Sunday, though. I think, uh... I think Tears of the Kingdom's going to be a very... immediate stream, though, for sure. I'm definitely going to be hitting that as fast as possible. Yeah, four days. I was going to make Sunday streaming day, but I, I need to make that a day one stream. That's too important to me. That's 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 a new Zelda. I, I need to play that day one. <laughs> Uh, I guess until then though, uh, that's, that's it. No more, no more Tears of the, uh, no more Age of Calamity, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down now. I finished this a lot sooner than I thought I would. It's only 10 a, a 10 p.m. still. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take some time to maybe hang out with Shade or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here though. Thanks for watching, guys.